a United Nations Security Council meeting on Lebanon dominated by the precarious position of UN peacekeepers after some of their positions were shot at by the Israeli military, an escalation and direct violation of international law. The UN's head of all peacekeeping operations telling the council that blue helmets in southern Lebanon are increasingly in grave danger. We have strongly protested the, the latest developments to the Israeli authorities and underlined the responsibility of the IDF to respect the protected status of UNIFIL and its personnel, including the inviolability of UN Nations, United Nations premises. Peacekeepers from the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, known as UNIFIL, have been confined to their bases for nearly three weeks since Israel began its ground operation. UNIFIL's headquarters and nearby positions have been repeatedly hit, injuring two peacekeepers. The injuries happened after an Israeli tank fired towards an observation tower at the headquarters, causing it to fall. This is the third attack on or near a UN peacekeeping post in southern Lebanon in recent days. UNIFIL has about 10,000 troops in the south of the country to enforce Security Council Resolution 1701 which called for demilitarized zone between Israel and Hezbollah. At the Security Council meeting, the Israeli envoy repeated calls for the peacekeepers to get out of the way of Israeli forces. We have recommended UNIFIL forces temporarily relocate five kilometers north to avoid danger as fighting intensifies. But the UN says they will stay, something the majority of council members seem to agree with. Strikes on UNIFIL stations and positions must stop now and all parties must ensure the security of UNIFIL. With a U.S. and France ceasefire proposal for Lebanon going nowhere diplomatically and no signs of Israel halting its attacks, UN peacekeepers in southern Lebanon increasingly find themselves in an untenable situation. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera. The United Nations in New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.